gotten me a present in a long time. What? This mean like you're my wife and I love you present. How how do you what how do you how do you define <laughs> you're my wife and I love you presents? You know, so I understand. The, here's a tote. Like a bag? Tote. Tote. Don't know what that is, but <laughs> a Louis I Vuitton. figure it's a bag. Okay, okay. Does, it doesn't even have to be that fancy. Just how about some perfume? You know I love perfume. I'm out of perfume right now. If I were to go in your bathroom right now and count the, the, the perfume bottles that are in there, you have like 64. And that's not ex an exaggeration. Well, some of them I don't wear. the show. Thank you so oh. much for, um, thanks uh, for being my wife, uh, uh, gifts, really? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Perfumes? Uh, you know, when you're married, you got to keep it spontaneous and spicy, and I think great gifts do Who that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you explain to me what I have to do when I'm married? Well, I'm doing it right now. I I'm the one who bought you the 64 bottles of per perfume. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, that was me. I'm just trying to give you hints, babe. Just little hints of how to kick it up a notch. <laughs> if I could get up another notch, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 how many bags have you gotten? We don't have to discuss this right uh, now. You, uh, I just want to, I just want to, you know, because there's a lot of bags in my house. <laughs> Totes and We have a great sacks. show for you today, yes, don't we? we? Do. Yes, yeah. we okay. do. Way to avoid the question. Okay, no, this is what I want to say. Are Please. any married people here? <laughs> yeah. And do you find yourselves in a little romance rut? Sometimes. Sure. Yeah. The one guy's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rotting right now, yes. <laughs> Speak to me. Sometimes it takes just a little gesture to, to scooch us up a notch. Scooch us up? Yeah. A little surprise, a little, hey, thought about you on my way home, stopped, So I you. bought you a $30,000 tote. <laughs> <laughs> Is no. that really? No, 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 no. If no. you don't know, I can't help you. Okay, can we please set the record straight? And yep. can you make sure people understand that I do know? Okay. That I do know. Well, put your knowledge where the knowledge is. <laughs> we have a great show today. From So You Think You Can Dance, Nigel Litko and choreographer Adam Shackman are here, yes. And from the movie that's getting a lot of buzz, Southpaw's Victor Ortiz is in the yes. building. Sally Richardson Whitfield and her husband Dondre Whitfield will also be joining us. Yes. A lot going on today. It's an action-packed show. But before we uh, bring our guests out, I, I do want to talk about something that seems to have everyone's attention right now. Outspoken comedian Amy Schumer. Yes. You know Amy Schumer? Woo! She is hot right now. She's on the cover of the latest GQ magazine. And in the magazine, she describes herself as uh, having, quote, an honest, unapologetic human voice. Mm -hmm. And she also said something that I found interesting. She said, talking about sex as a woman, just broaching the subject makes people think of you in a certain way. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, do you think that's true? I do think that's true, but I think it's a double standard. Oh. Yeah. And I, I'm with her on that. Um, you know, you can debate whether her way of expressing herself is appropriate or not, that she's a Comedian. She's, she's an known actress. for her, you know. Yeah, she's known. Tell That's it her like brand. It is. She's known. She's known for for being unapologetic. Do you think Amy's too raunchy? Um, see, I 
I don't know her personally, so I want to give it a benefit of doubt because she well, is that's a comedian. The debate. Right, I give She's her a that comedian, freedom. So, so, so she is being provocative. Yes. Which is her right. Uh, she, she wants to express that side of her. Um, I would like to meet her. And, oh, and, really? And, and after I meet. <laughs> Well, clearly Amy Schumer has definitely won some people over. <laughs> well, let's talk about some ways that men can woo women. Give me some examples. Well, uh, perfume and totes. <laughs> see, see, that's the thing. She doesn't let it, she doesn't let it go. <laughs> she just doesn't let it go. And, and no, I think you guys... Under, sorry, go ahead. No, I don't no, interrupt fine. you anymore. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Weren't you the one who said, okay, after we apologize or after we say I'm sorry to each other, we let it go? Yes. We acknowledge that the other person does not agree. We agree to disagree and we let it go. Yes. So why do you bring up the totes <laughs> and the perfume again? I let it go. No, you didn't. You just <laughs> brought it up again. <laughs> yes. No, I, I'm letting it go. Just read the subject. But I just think that you guys sleep on, this is for the, all the single guys out there, you sleep on some of the four basic things that, that work, right? Be nice. You know, you don't have to be a jerk. Just be kind and strong and a gentleman, it's okay. Be nice to children. You know what I mean? Like if you're with a guy and he's yelling about a kid crying in a restaurant or, you know, sees a cute kid and doesn't say anything, like, it's, it's nice to see that you, you know, you did that. What? I, I saw the way you, 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 you cared for children. When we were on set and someone would bring their baby oh, to yeah, set, yeah. you always picked them up. But I mean, and... how low is this bar? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, to woo women, you have to be a, a human. That's it. A male. That's how crow be magnet nice. men have become. Don't be abuse creative. children. <laughs> what, what is this? I mean, what are, are we basics. talking about? These are the basics. These are not the caveman times. Well, yes, they are. Let's ask some of our single friends out there. <laughs> yes. Don't pull women by their hair. You guys need to be reminded. You need to be reminded. Jeez, I, look, I don't need gimmicks. I don't need any tricks. I think. If a man is confident uh, and comfortable with who he is, you don't need anything. Just be yourself, right? Yeah. Or drive a big car. <laughs> Have a really big car. Or, or bring perfume. Bring lots of totes and perfume to the party. Well, sometimes in a relationship, it's, it's both sides who keep quiet about their feelings, and, the, and they use that common response that you always accuse me of. Like, I don't want to talk about it. That one? Yeah, you do that all the time. Well, <laughs> there's some times where something major happens, and I know you, like most men, you've already weighed whether or not this is worth arguing about, and you toss it out. So I know that I have to hold it in and just work it out with myself, otherwise it's gonna be a whole other argument, and so that's when I say, I don't wanna talk about it. But how do I learn when you don't want to share with me what the problem is? Because I already know. Are we having an argument <laughs> right now? Are we, are we having our first no, argument? No, we're, on, we're, on, we're, uh, on, uh, we're on just discussing. We're just discussing. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to give an example? Please. Okay, because I've been holding this in. I can't wait. <laughs> I went to a deli and I've been trying to watch my weight because I want to fit into these cute clothes Doesn't and Damon great? wardrobe. Oh. Thank you, and watch the carbs, and it's not easy with kids and everything. So I went and I bought my favorite, and time's an issue, so I bought my favorite tuna. Yeah. <laughs> and I put it in the fridge. And because when you live in a house with other people, they don't know, so I even put my name on it. <laughs> Mom, on a little sticker. Okay, okay, the sticker. First of all, the sticker fell, so it, it was upside down, and it said, wow. <laughs> so I thought... <laughs> She's leaving me a piece of tuna. Wow, it's such great tuna. So I was really appreciative oh, okay. that you thought of me, and I'm very disappointed to find Why out that you, you weren't bluffing? thinking of me. What are you doing? Really? Is, is, is that really the argument you're going to have with me right now? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk about it? You're not getting any tuna tonight. <laughs> I'm Shankman. And I'm Nigel Lithgow. And we're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. I can't wait. I love Boris and Nicole. Maybe too much. Maybe too much.
Now, if you think you can dance, you're definitely going to love our next guest. They've introduced us to some of the most talented dancers across the globe on their hit show, So You Think You Can Dance. Please welcome award-winning choreographers Nigel Lithgow and Adam Sheckman. <laughs> I need a stretcher. Okay, my, my hands. Oh, yeah, that was great. Ow. You guys have been dancing for a long time, though. When did you start? Oh. <laughs> Collectively, since, you know, the medieval years. I mean, uh, well, you brought us some pictures. I think we have some pictures here. Oh, no. Please, God, what? I, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. That, yeah, that was, that was me yesterday. I just took that in my backyard. How about you, Nigel? Do we have a picture of you? Uh, they didn't really have cameras when I was No, no, no. <laughs> it, no, literally, I was, I was like, we could get a picture of Nigel, but we'd have to actually go to Stonehenge because it's etched on the side of, the, of one of the rocks. It's like a cave painting. Well, you work together on So You Think You Can Dance. What are some of the, the moments that have stood out for you? I think I was inspired by Adam once when he didn't realize he had his microphone on. Oh, my God. And went through an entire evening of his sexual experiences. Oh, my God. Oh, and my everybody, God. everybody, everybody, all the camera guys and the director all heard <laughs> what he was up to. Are you serious? They got an earful, and then I looked at them and was like, yep, yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's the best way to do it. You got to own it. That was and inspirational. Like that. that was no, my no. inspirational <laughs> moment. Yeah. That oh. having been said, um, segue, we, um, you know, we've, listen, you've been doing, you know, they, he just said, celebrated the 10th anniversary. This, is that, so you think it's the dance, which is not just 10 seasons, it's 12 seasons. Um, and, you know, I, I went out on the road, uh, seven of those, and um, the, um, you know, what you do is you get, these pages that the producers give you when you're seeing the dancers in all the different cities, and it lists, you know, what their kind of their backstories. Back stories. Yeah. And um, and one after another, it was, you know, um, dance saved his life. Brother was killed in this. Homeless. Dance saved their life in this. Got me um, through drug addiction. Got me through alcohol addiction. Mm -hmm. These are young kids. And you have a project that's close to your heart called Dizzy the Dizzy Feet Foundation. The yeah. Dizzy Feet Foundation. This, we, we really started this. We, we believe that you know the education system in this country at the moment is not finding out what kids are good at. It's oh. just turning around and saying, you have to be good at regurgitating the facts we give you in order to pass tests. Uh, and it's just the wrong way of creating society as well. You know, none of us, none of us are the same. And, and who knows what's going to be required of us in the future? So how does the Dizzy Feet Foundation um, help? We, we, we fix it all. Yeah, we do. Got it. <laughs> Just we like that, and educate well, you've everybody. Actually impacted a lot of dancers who who've gone on to do really, really big things. And like, we, like you. Yes. <laughs> we, yes. You Boogie know, nights. We we worked together on Boogie Nights yeah. 17 years Whoa. ago. 18 years ago. Whoa. 18. Whoa. 18 years ago. Wow. 18 years ago when you were 10. Yes, when I was 10. <laughs> Playing that. And a half. I was 10 and a half. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. How did the dancing play into uh, Boogie Nights? We had, it was the 70s, baby. Oh, that's right. Disco. <laughs> we, disco. Right. We have one of those exceptional dancers here with us. He's the winner of So You Think You Can Dance season 10. Please welcome Fiction. <laughs> Thank you. 
Congratulations. How's it going? Amazing. Good, yeah. good, good. I feel so good. small. That's it amazing. was so sweet. <laughs> when Nigel taught him all that, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was great You're performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes, so I am. Tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition, and um, I usually go to go showcase. And it's really cool because they really let me. Um, like, they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great. And which also, uh, like, it's my freestyling and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city. So. Well, you sure are. <laughs> why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because, first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's, it's movement. There's intake with, um, with music. There's, you have the music going on in your head. You get physically exhausted from it. It creates mm -hmm. energy inside your body. And dancing is generally, in a, you know, thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all, you know, when, when they invented fire when he was around. <laughs> and, he, you know, and he was dancing around. It was all joy and celebration and praise and, and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we ha we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and it transcends race, it transcends gender, it transcends culture. Absolutely. And you see these kids yes. who, uh, on poverty level who are addressing each other with respect, mm -hmm. experiencing community, self-esteem, it's social yes. community glue as well. It's, it's yeah. social glue. Communities together. This is awesome. Well, you have some mad pop blocking skills. I've got a few of my own. So oh, oh, yeah. Oh boy. So you might want to brush me up and then teach him some. <laughs> okay, brush up on some. Okay, so some basics. Just give us some basics. Okay. Some basics. Okay, so right. first what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, oh, we're gonna take our hands out, just like do a little. Do I have to take this jacket off? Oh, no. Are I we mean, doing this too? I think they tend to look better in jackets. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna take your hands like this. You're gonna bring your hand down. Oh, I, I'm, right, I'm with you, I'm with you. So we're gonna bring your hand down. Yeah. We're gonna pop our elbow up. Oh my God, we're doing the we're wave. We're gonna pop our shoulder. We're gonna pop our other shoulder. We're gonna do our elbow. Elbow. We're gonna bring it out like this. Oh! Bring it in. Oh, oh is there? <laughs> See, he, was, he took it through the chest. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he added the, that's key oh. too, that is key too. But I didn't have to tell you that, you already got it. Natural. Natural. See, See, natural. natural talent. Cause there's nothing harder <laughs> than like an old Jew, like. <laughs> Hey, that was so much you fun. something going on this weekend, right? August the 1st, we were at Club Nokia with the Dizzy Feet Foundation Gala. Woo. Love it. It's our celebration of dance, wow. and uh, <laughs> tickets are available Thank now. you so much. Thank you, Adam and Nigel. Thank you, Thank you, you for so being here. For more information on the celebration of Dance Gala, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. is a crowd-pleasing boxing champion, but this weekend you can catch him in the highly anticipated film Southpaw. Please welcome Victor Ortiz! Then I was like, I have to steam it still. This, nah, I'll just go. Oh, no, 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 no. Blaze is so overrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Where'd that come from? I, I can take it off. You don't like it? Well, I, you know, well, take wait it off. Wow. Take, take it, it off. Just take it off. Oh, oh, oh. Twinning. We're go. twinning now. Boom. So, we go. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> we can talk about your film in a second, but let's first talk sure. about what an inspiration you are. Oh, thank you. You yeah. truly overcame the odds to become a success, and uh, it's really, your story is very inspiring. Why don't you share some of it with us? I remember I was nine years old, and I just said to myself, I have to be world champion, man. I was so natural at it, not as a, I'm right-handed, can't fight right-handed. So one day I just started switching this way, and I just started noticing that I'd make every kid cry in the ring. <laughs> I fell in love with that, and I was like, hey, I was a little fat kid, you That's know? a pretty good sign that you're yeah, on your way. Yeah, you make everybody cry around you. I mean, you know, I was this little, you know, this little fluffy kid. I played the piano. I was in the choir for school, and wow. I even had some vocal coaching. But I just remember I'd get in the ring right-handed, and boom, 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 hit me. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, one day I just turned this way, and then this little 
I mean, may he rest in peace, Bucky Avila. He, Ignacio, he taught me how to uh -huh. box uh, lefty. And then, you know, I'm like, the same guys that make me cry, I'd be like, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, don't cry. It's OK, bro. <laughs> 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 So I just fell in love with making Watch somebody cry, people. and then next thing yeah. I'm just running with the dream. And the nine years old kicks around. I'm like, I have the world champion. Have, I could do that. Then I watched Rocky spirit. a few times, and once yeah. I, once I watched That'll Rocky, I was like, That made me think I could be a world champion <laughs> watching Rocky. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so I, I saw a street kid that, you know, worked hard and, and took over the world. I mean, that gave me a silly thought and a silly dream and some hope. And next thing you know, I'm. You're here. You know, yeah. I don't know. Long story short. <laughs> Heavyweight ring with Jake Gyllenhaal, oh, man, yes, I, I and Rachel cool. McAdams. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, oh. my softball. Yeah, what was so, it like working on a film? No, funniest thing, how I got casted in that, I was like, where do I stand in there? So I went and I read, and then uh, I was like, yeah. They're like, wow, your deliveries are amazing. Only one problem. What's that? <laughs> You're too small. I'm like, oh. Did they put you in a box sometimes? I felt like Rudy. <laughs> I was like, Rudy. Rudy. I, was, I was like, man. So I was like, it's no problem. Can you just do me a favor and just please contact my agency and tell them that I actually delivered amazing. And, you know, so that way they don't think I'm playing around. I left and I, yeah, so this guy came in here today, uh, calling Anton Fuqua. Um, he claimed he was a boxer or something. Uh, he's a really nice guy. But uh, what's his name? Victor Ortiz. You let Victor Ortiz read my script <laughs> <laughs> without me being there. Yes, <laughs> so next, you know, it's I like love it. well, you know what? I just treat everybody politely, you know. So I get a phone call. I don't know what you did in there. I, what guys? I prepped. You guys told me to do that. Well, no. Listen, they want you back. Oh, there you go. So next, you know, champ, you're in the movie. Well, Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank this you. is incredible. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, we we can't let a box champion leave without us learning some techniques. Oh, absolutely. Do you think you could Let's do that. Ooh. So here, uh -oh. we don't want you to hurt yourself. Uh -oh. I think we need yeah. some room. Can we make some yes. room? Yes. Let's make some room here. <laughs> All right. Why do you get the pink gloves? That's cancer awareness, bro. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. No, it's because you think I'm soft, and then oh. I hook you with my southpaw. Oh. Get you. You hook me with your southpaw. <laughs> That's, um... Okay. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Are you right? Because I'm right-handed too, but I fight left-handed. Okay. I'm open. Oh. I'm okay, open. okay. Let's, let's try a jab real quick. No. Oh. This is a jab. Oh, I knew that. Fundamentals. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. There jab. This is jab. Okay. Jab. Okay. One, two. Got you. Got you. You got to okay. twist the... Yep. You know, I'm ready. One, two. I'm ready. Yeah, okay, yep. one, Twist one two. Twist the hip. One, two, boom. Oh, one, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, ooh, one, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Wow. One, two. Faster. One, two. One, two. Wow. One, two. Whoa. And heels. Yeah. And heels. I don't, I don't need to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to embarrass myself. We want to thank Mr. Ortiz ready. for coming. <laughs> don't get away. We will be right back. from faraway places in different countries without having to travel across the world? Well, now you can without even leaving your home. Here to tell us more about Try the World Gourmet Food Boxes, please welcome Kat Varatova. Kat Varatova. Hey. Hi, welcome, welcome. Two sides. Yes. So Kat, I, I love the idea of, of eating food from another country without leaving my house. So tell us a little bit about uh, how Try the World got started. Of course. Well, I love to eat and I love to travel. So three years ago, when I was a graduate student at Columbia University, I met a fellow foodie and traveler, David Fultz, and together we founded Try the World because every time we came back from an exotic destination and wanted to recreate that culinary experience, we just could not find the products in the U.S. So how many countries do you have food boxes from? So we've done 10 countries so far. Wow. Anywhere from France, Japan, Brazil, Morocco, Italy. 
and they all come with delicious foods. So you have to go there and you do research on the food and... We work with local experts and celebrity chefs to actually ah. source these products directly from the countries. Which nice. box are we working with today? Today we're working with Argentina and a... <laughs> Let's see what's in Is, that where, is, that where, is this what's... What, yeah, what's over <laughs> here? So we got seven local, authentic and delicious products from Argentina and a culture guide which comes with recipes, music and movies so you wow. can create this culinary wow. and cultural experience at home and share with your friends, your I kids. Love this. That's very comprehensive. For yourself. Yes, Delicious. love this. So Boris and I are going to have an Argentinian cook-off. You set it up, set us up lovely here. Thank you so much. Well, look, when we did the mystery food challenge last week, I lost, so I have to redeem myself. Uh, uh, I have my what is Anilon pot? It's this lovely pot that was given to us by Anilon. That's right. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you. Yes. <laughs> Kat, just tell us what we need to do. Okay. Well, each of you have a sliced pre-cooked lomo beef okay, and some chimichurri sauce. Ooh. Okay. What's this? That's some Malbec wine from Argentina. <laughs> let's, let, let's get the party started early. Chimichurri. Yeah. This is amazing. It's so, chimichurri it's sauce. It's 11 o'clock somewhere. Before we get started, let me tell you about what you have here. We also have some olive paste with tomatoes and mozzarella on right. crostini. Cheater, Getting, cheater. So cheating, cheating. Cheater. Okay, time has not started. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she does that. <laughs> and what is this? These are cookies with dulce de leche, and you're going to roll them in the coconut flakes at the end. Wow. So the goal is to cook the meat along with some veggies. Mm -hmm. Once the meat is done. Yes. Once the meat is done, yes. you just add some chimichurri sauce to your tasting. Yes. So we have two minutes to prepare each dish. Are you ready, babe? I was born ready. To get your culo kicked? Let's, let's Everything go. we need is here. On your mark. All right. Let's get, get started. Ready. Go. 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 All right, guys. I love it. I, oh, I like the Olive music. Oil. There you go. I, my husband veggies. loves mushrooms. Okay, asparagus. And I know how to cook them now in so many different ways. On but the he cold doesn't side. understand onions. I'm sorry. Mm. Looks like you got some meat there grilling. Very good. No, Who turned delicious. it up this high? It, it's trying to so, boycott my effort. Boris, what are you doing? Tell us, tell us what you're doing. Okay, I'm sauteing some of the veggies. I have the mushrooms in here. I have the asparagus here. I have and some of the beautiful, figs. beautiful, beautiful uh, I can cook sweet tea. The onions. So you know. All right, Nicole, Sauteed how are you doing here? Do you need any help? Get really them ready. I'm, I'm creating the dish presentation as we the go. The perfect Gorgeous. technique. Beautiful. So Sauteing <laughs> vegetables is <laughs> constant movement. So the vegetables like are well-roundedly. Let the people at, know, at home know what this is. These are figs, so little they figs. add a little bit of a taste. Uh, mm. Sweet tea. I think I need to rinse the Onions. thing down a little bit. All right. All right. My goodness. Yeah, we'll add a little bit of spice. Chimichurri. Oh. Okay, don't forget. Me. Chimichurri. Nicole was already. Uh, <laughs> 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 almost look done there. Look at, okay. look at that. Look at that meat. Mm, that looks yum. <laughs> okay. Hurry. Almost done. 30 seconds. 30 you guys seconds. hurry up because you also have to do the cookies. Okay. Yep, roll the, the cookies. Churro. The chimichurri sauce. And you need you to plate like it, it on a plate. Make it beautiful. Presentation is important. Ah, uh, presentation is overrated. <laughs> and this is oh, really this is a amazing. traditional Argentine Eight. dish. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hurry up, four, hurry up. Three. Need to put seven. it on a plate. Nicole, Five. right there is your plate. Your plate is right hey. there. Okay, time's, time's now. We have a little presentation here for us. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Delicious. Look at that. No, look at this. No, look at that. Look at this. Beauty, huh? That looks beautiful. Look at this, huh? Ah, uh, stop uh, it, cat. In Argentina, they're all you about meat. You haven't nothing yet. They <laughs> actually... That's a fun fact. They have more cattle than humans. This is the Pies de Resusa. Who wants Ooh. to be our taste tester? Beautiful. Yeah, lovely lady right there. Come feast your eyes on this. Hi, we have a how are you? Hey. Good to you see you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Summer Still. Oh, from? And wow, originally that's a, Myrtle Beach, and now I live here in Studio that's City. That's the best Woo! name I've ever heard in my life. I know. Summer, Summer Still. Still. Oh, can Some, I say, yes. you poetry. guys are gorgeous up close. So. <laughs> oh, thank you. You want to hold the mic? Okay. So you want to taste me... mine first, Summer? I'll let you get it over Go with. <laughs> you can taste mine first. Yes. Step up. 
There you little, go. I'll, I'll give you all his little this bits and pieces. This looks so good. It is very good, Summer. Okay. <laughs> you just I, have to taste it. I feel a little pressure from him. <laughs> what do you think, Summer? Mm. Mm. That's yeah. what I say. Can you hear that? Mm. Okay, you guys are doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Summer, you need to taste this. If I pick yours, maybe I can come back and do it again. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. That's what she said. Mama's the boss. <laughs> taste that. You are the chef in your house, right? Yes. I'm going to have to go with this. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't touch me, Summer. Special thanks to Kat Baratova for bringing her taste of Argentina to the boys from the call show. You can all try to cook up your own Argentinian dish because you are going home with the Try the Word box. For more information, log on to boysonthecall.com. We'll be right back with Sally Richards Whitfield and her husband, Dondre. Don't go away. Okay, good. Our next guests are a Hollywood power couple. She's got a new show on ABC Family, and he's one of the realest husbands in Hollywood. Please welcome our friend Sally Richardson Whitfield and Don Dre Whitfield! Yeah. I feel like we're at home. Oh, that's sweet. We love you guys. Oh, I got this I, I, I'm, and I'm congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dondre, your big break was on the Cosby Show. Yeah. Yes. You guys remember him from the Cosby Show? Yeah. Yes. He had, he had hair. He had hair. He had hair. That was that was that was that was a <laughs> that was a that was a half row ago. <laughs> half row ago. But when you started and people started recognizing you, like. Did just people assume that you were rolling in the dough? Of course, and that's that's one of the, the terrible things about being... I mean, you got to remember, that time it was the most watched show on television history, so, you know, I got fame before I had money, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> because people were coming up to you, and they're like, hey, well, why are you on the train? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally would be like, oh, that's not me. I know who you're talking about. I hate that dude. He's stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, uh, switching gears a little bit... The Bill Cosby sex scandal has mm. been on the news for a while now, and you both worked with him. Yeah. Uh, w what is your take on the whole thing? Well, I, honestly, you know, I have, you know, people have been asking me, hey, did you see any signs of anything? And of course not. But I think the biggest takeaway that uh, we need to bear in mind is that as a husband and as a father of a, of a 10 year old daughter, I think what we need to do is create a safe atmosphere for women to come forward immediately if anything goes down. That's right. What's your feeling on this? Well, you know, until we, you know, we find out really everything, I don't like people to put judgments on me and I don't do it to anybody else. So I think that it doesn't, it doesn't sound good, doesn't feel good, but I would like to see everything come out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. Well, you guys have been married for 13 years. 13 years in Hollywood, y'all. So how many is that in real? Oh, look so at that. Right here, we got her right there. Hey, I was look a baby. The wow. There's the hair. There's look the at hairline. that hair. It was starting to go. I can wow. tell. It was a little thin. Yes. This little... Oh, wow. Oh. It's bittersweet. I, I've I was, been there. I was almost handsome there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so what's the pants in your, your relationship? Um, I, I think that uh, D'Andre would say that would be... I don't wear the pants, but I am definitely more of the man. Yeah. I mean, I don't care... Okay, okay, hold on, not hold on. Like, don't skip okay, over that. Let's rewind that. Explain, a, explain that. I, it means that I don't care about my birthday. It's not a big deal. Valentine's Day. Wow. Those kind, it's not... Yeah. Like, we, yeah. we should go on Wife Swap. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that would be interesting. We'd be hitting the golf. Oh, my God. We'd be playing golf night and night. We would have a blast. Yeah. You and I would be we would be like, hey, I'm like, honey, I'm like, 
Look, I got you a new moisturizer here. Thank you. <laughs> and did you buy me a tote? Yes. <laughs> you said you were going to let it go. You said you were going to okay. let it go, but... I'll take Sally. a tote. I'll take you a tote. You said you were going to let it go. I'm just saying... I'll take a tote. Sally, you start the hit ABC Family Series, uh, Stitchers. Yes. yes. And we want to hear all about it, but... Okay. You, you got to do it in six seconds oh. in a Vine video right into... Dave's lovely camera here. Dave. Okay. Am I going over there? Yeah. No, no, you oh, you stay right here. Okay. Just, and just get it all in. When it's out. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 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 And go. It's a secret government agency where we solve crimes by stitching into the consciousness of a recently dead person to figure out how they got killed. Good job. Woo! Good job. Good job. We, have a, we have a clip from Stitchers. Good. Take a look. It wasn't pretty, but we. Yeah. That's good. What do you really know about him? He's an anthropologist, correct? He's off traveling the world and shows up at your door, charms his way back into your life, and pops the question. What's wrong with that? The timing. He didn't come back until you got involved with the Stitchers program. He finished his fellowship. William's not a problem. That's all you need to know. So, Donnie, um, <clears throat> this fall you're going to hit the road. Yes. With uh, the Manhood Tour. Yes, Tell us sir. about the Manhood Tour. Uh, you know, acting has been a passion of mine for over 30 years now. Um, but my transformative work with the Manhood Tour is my purpose. And, uh, and that is really important because I think uh, we, we see so many examples now that I, our biggest problem in society right now is that our males are not really uh, men. And we give them the areas that they're deficient in in order to fortify those needs so that they can step into their manhood in the highest degree. Yeah. 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 Thank our friends Sally Richards and Whitfield and Donnie Whitfield for joining us. You can catch her in Stitchers Tuesday nights on ABC Family. We'll be right back. rolls and your popsicle sticks, you may want to play co close attention to our next guest. She's 12-year-old star of DreamWorks TV on YouTube, Life Hacks for Kids, and she's here to teach us some fun and easy tricks the whole family will love. Please welcome adorably talented Sunny Keller. Hey, Sunny. Now, you're only 12, and you've been doing hacks since you were eight. How did you get started? Well, I mean, when I was little, er, um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I started doing a bunch of these, like, little businesses among my friends. Like, I took their old, like, messy dolls and I fixed them up and wow. made, like, a business called All Dolled Up. And it was just among, like, my friends at school. You charged them? Yeah. <laughs> wow! How much are you charging per doll? Like seven bucks. Whoa! <laughs> okay. You're rich now. <laughs> That's amazing. So there are a lot of like balloon hacks and games for practical uses. Which one are you going to show us today? Well, right now I'm going to show you this um, balloon phone case. Okay. Awesome. And this one's pretty easy. All you need is a phone and a balloon. So should I blow one up? Sure. So what you're going to do, blow it up, but don't tie it at the end. Okay. So. okay. This big, okay. pretty much. Yeah. Is We're that, not 12 anymore, babe. Is that good? I'm okay. winded. Okay, you're good. So now take one of the phones yep. okay. and put it face up with the top of it facing the mouth opening okay. part. And you're going to press down on it with your, in the middle of the phone okay. and slowly let out air and while pushing hard. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. So, and you have kind of this phone case made out of a balloon. This is so cool. Like, how you doing, guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. That's so, so cool. hey, I'm excited. What, what are we what are we what gonna is, make next? This is cool. This is our um it's our cheaper speakers. So what you're gonna do. He's gonna love this. Yeah. You take the plastic solo cups, yep. and you cut 
a hole. You, you first. I'll do that for you while okay. you're talking. Sure. First of all, you draw, you trace the um, the paper towel roll. Oh, to get the perfect circle. To get circle. the perfect circle. Yes. Gotcha. And then you're gonna cut. You're gonna trace your phone. You're gonna yeah. grab this. And you're gonna trace your phone among this side, and then create a little opening and a, a slot. flap. Okay. A slot. It's more That's like it. an octagon, but put the paper towel roll this is through genius. that. You're a genius. Thank you. Yes, she <laughs> is. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take this off. Take so, your case off. Yeah, take my case off temporarily. Gotcha. Yes. And if you got to do, you place the phone, and it amplifies the voice. This is incredible. This is unbelievable. Perfect music. You're amazing. Yes. Well, since it's all about the music, we thought um, you can show us uh, how to make your hack Monica. So what you'll need are two um, pretty thick popsicle sticks, like tongue depressors. And, tongue um, depressors. Is tongue that yes. the technical term? Yes, my dad's yes. a dentist. Tongue depressors. Yes. Depressors. And you'll need um, one pretty long, flat um, rubber band. Yep. Two small ones. Yeah. You need um, a thick piece of paper as well, and you're gonna take the paper, cut one strip along this side, mm -hmm. and then cut that strip in half. Okay. Gotcha. And then you roll it up. And then you roll it up and tape it with the tape. Once you've done that, put it through the popsicle stick, and then take another one yep. and do the same thing. So then you have two little rubber okay. bands on first, this side. Yeah, but first you take another one and put it under. Like that, oh, so you God. stack it on top, yeah, the and then you put those you need to learn how to listen. on each side. <laughs> All right, so I got my, I'm, I'm doubling up, and then what so happens? We did that? Here, let's put this. So in here's the finished more. product here's the over here. One. What do we do with finished that? Finished product, and you go. <laughs> wow! Wow! Look at this! <laughs> this is a perfect <laughs> hack monitor. I mean, you can turn anything into basically anything. I love that. Yes. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you to Nigel Lithgow, Adam Shankman, Victor Ortiz, Kat Veritova for Try the World. As well